Okay, the next video in our 2022 uh, lockdown instructional series is going to revolve around basics of creating um, a better backswing. Uh, typically, the first few moves off the golf ball are really going to set the tone for um, what the rest of our uh, backswing and transition is going to look like, um, if there's going to be uh, any necessary uh, changes in wrist angles, arm angles, plane, things like that, um, that are going to help us hit this golf ball a little bit better. Now, I will preface this by saying this is very generic um, information. Uh, this uh, will help most, but if you have a unique move, we may need to make different modifications in where the arm uh, arm position is, wrist angles, club face, things like that. So. Um, uh, if, if this doesn't feel uh, like it applies to you, again, uh, a more personalized plan may be, may be better, but for most, these concepts will, will help clean up little areas or little checkpoints in the golf swing. So we have a couple sticks uh, lined up here, which is gonna represent our target line. Now we're gonna use that as a reference. Now, what I'm also gonna use is, uh, is an alignment stick that I'm gonna kind of just stick beside the, uh, the grip here. Now what that's gonna show us is just a little bit better representation of where the uh, shaft angle or shaft plane uh, is sitting. So when we set up to the golf ball, again, very um, basic square lines uh, to our target line. Now again, for you, you may be more open, closed, again, depending on what shot we're trying to hit or your tendencies, but for uh, an overall generic model, you know, square lines. Now when we take it up to uh, position two. What you're going to find is we are going to want this shaft generally speaking, parallel to our target line. Now what we're also going to want to do is we're going to watch the club face. Now for, for years we've been told that toe up is a very good position. Now typically toe up is actually a rotated open club face. So what you're typically going to find is this club face is going to match sort of the angle of our, um, our forward bend. Um, if we get a two toe up, that's going to be too open. If we get the club face pointed too far to the ground, that's gonna to be too close. Now again, that may work for you, but for the uh, interest of this video, um, a square club face matching sort of our forward bend shaft in line with our hands and parallel left of our target line is going to be uh, a very good position to start. Now, when we move up to sort of position three, so position one uh, is at the golf ball, position two, uh, club shaft parallel to uh, the ground, when we move up to position three where our lead arm is parallel uh, now to the ground, what we're gonna wanna see is, is that the, the club shaft plane is pointing somewhere near that target line. What we don't wanna see is maybe a, a swing that's too upright. That's gonna make uh, for some changes coming down in our swing, um, or one that's too laid off, now too open. Now what you're gonna find here is, is that uh, again, conversations are going to um, to have to happen into the golf ball to make sure that we can strike it. The, the, the less variables we can have or timing in our golf swing, although there is some timing, uh, typically the, the easier the strike we're going to be. So just to recap, two simple positions here. Position two, just outside of um, uh, the club, just in line with our hands, parallel to the target line, club face a little more bowed, not too far inside, not too far outside. And then position three, where our lead arm is parallel to the ground, club shaft pointing somewhere near the near the target line. Uh, and again, we haven't manipulated the face too much there. So those two drills, we can work through those, whether it's in a mirror, whether it's in a scenario like this, I think is going to help you in your backswing. Now, again, if you have uh, a varying technique or we're trying to work on something else, again, contact me, uh, comment below. Uh, we will get you uh, sorted out. So until the next video, uh, take care. Thank you.